has a mirror Believer I'm resigned to die So first of all of course I mean Dawkins really does not understand what Christians mean when they talk about creation in fact Dawkins doesn't really understand what Christians mean when they talk about God. And so, in the mind of Dawkins, when, we, when he think, hears the word God, he's thinking about like a sort of God of the gaps. He's thinking about a God that you would maybe use to plug the current gaps in your scientific ignorance. That, of course, is not the Christian understanding of God. The Christian understanding of God is greater. He is the author of the whole creation. It's like an author in relationship to a book. The whole book is written by the author. And so as Christians we see the whole of creation as the book written by God. Not as some distant lawgiver who kind of winds up the universe at the beginning and then kind of lets it run by itself. No, this is a God who is like an author. He's involved in every chapter of the book. God is writing every chapter, he's writing every sentence, he's involved in everything that happens. He's not just involved in natural selection, not just involved in mutations or something. You know, God is in charge of the whole process. He's, he's uplifting, he's undergirding, he's sustaining the whole process of the created order. As a matter of fact, that's what makes science possible. If God was not sustaining everything in existence and through his faithfulness, uh, creating it in a way that it's orderly, that's consistent, that's reproducible, then science would not be possible. Science is only possible because we can do reproducible experiments because things behave in an orderly way. And so God is the guarantee that that will happen, except for miracles. Miracles, of course, they happen, but they're occasional things. And most of the time, God just is faithful in keeping the whole created order working in the same kind of way. So that's what makes evolution possible. So it's simply Dawkins doesn't understand really God. It doesn't understand God as creator. And once you understand what the word God means and the word creator means and, and what, how God works in creation, in Christian theology, then uh, it just makes Dawkins' uh, ideas fairly pointless really.